Welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Today we're in the Fabricator Caverns, which, as you can see right here, we have large red barrel, I don't know if I said that right, crystal formations. And why they're all big like this, I have no idea. Maybe the PDA knows. More Heiko, but you can, as I get in my truck, you can go down or up and down since we're in the fabricator cabin. Sometimes in caves, you gotta go up to go down. But as you go down, we'll start to see something unfold. There is shadow leviathans here, like that one. As you get closer, the base unfold. Now, closer. The base. Welcome aboard. It doesn't have a name yet. I'm planning on a name soon. Through here we got the control room. It's, I'll change the name to... Do you know what this is actually called? It's called Crystalline Shadow Leviathan Observatory. Or, I'm just going to call it Chris, Crystalline Observatory. Oh, you're so good at spelling. I can kind of get this. There's a little like all that. Stuff I don't know what it's supposed to be. But then, you can go over here. There's this bulkhead. It will lead to the office room. The office. Office. Uh. Here. The office, and I don't really have that much. Here, you can check on stuff and learn about stuff. Bad. Focus. Cool poster. Mm -hmm. Also, there's a Mercury 2 poster. Mm -hmm. That's the one that crashed. I don't know. And here's the greenhouse part of the office. Office greenhouse. We have these wall planners. Like this aquarium floor. And all the stuff in the wall. Greenhouse area. Glass dome. Some really to anything. If you go down here, there's where the aquarium is. Which I actually can't do anything with since my habitat builder is gone and I don't have a fabricator to make another one. So I guess that, that's there. And as we go over here, this is not the door that we came through, it will lead to a different room. Close this. Ah. And then. This automatic door leads into here. It's the kitchen. Here. Nice. Uh, poster. Here's a picture. And a picture. There's a recyclotron. Like how I get that stuff. And it is basically a recycle can. Then you have this little picture of a shadow of I can we'll go through here. We have the living room. I pretend that's a TV because it has like an ad kind of. Mm -hmm. The new C Truck X12, which is what I actually have. Then through here. 
Here's the scanner room where it scans stuff. No controllable cameras found. I can have a shadow in here. I just like that if I just get no. I use a fabricator, create a camera drone. I normally have two. And I don't know if this works. Like attach something. I don't know if that works. Have some. But if I just go this and go out. I don't know if it's my time or dinner. If I just do this. I'd be able to just release them. Oh, that's how they do it. That's how you do it. And then you can pick them up. Nice. And if we go down to the scanner room, they're in there actually. We put the camera drones in. And that's how we do it. I didn't figure that out in the tree spire space, but I made one and I was like, what do you do with it? Yeah. And if we go back inside. And there's a window where we parked our sea truck. We go in back inside. We will go back to the scanner room and go to camera one. And you can actually find shadow life and other stuff like that. So like, because it's like, it has a tracker. That tracks stuff. You can do this with anything. Even kyanite and probably maybe even creature eggs you can do that. Track anything like this. The cameras are pretty cool to have. Oh. Then it's actually crazy. And then if we just X out, you can find anything. Probably I can find maybe creature eggs. Argentine Octrop Okyanite. That's actually very helpful. Camera two. I'll go back. That's the camera one. Here. Oh, Kyanite. Kyanite is used to make stuff, I guess. There's more. Lots of kyanite. And it can be used for lots of things. Kyanite is pretty cool. You can find resources like this. It's actually a great addition to the game. Fabricator Caverns is... Parts of it might be even a thousand meters deep. Yeah. It's that deep sometimes. On the ground, it's kind of peaceful. Oh my gosh. It's so deep though. They're around 900s. 905 meters down. Part of this is even a thousand meters down. There's our sea truck there. It's crazy. Wow. You can make like cool like stuff with it. Like, oh, there's a shadow life in there. But you can make crazy stuff with like this. Now, that's. If we go up this ladder, we find this room. It's like a meeting room. We go up here, and we go hatch, out of, into. And we find this area. And we force them there, like. And there you can see our greenhouse room. Well, observatory. To observe stuff. Then, the moon pool thingy is like going through there. It's kind of funny. 
I use a sea glide to get around because it's like a fast way. Go to. Pretty cool on these shadow lichens. They're actually crazy. The Fabricator Taverns is actually crazy. Because in order to be below zero, you're going to need to go to the Fabricator Taverns. That's where the Fabricator Base is. And the Fabricator Base is used to get Alan's new body, or you can find the fabricator base and, and then them can go to, on the ship and then escape. Which is how you go here. I like to sit down on this and like that. I like how the kitchen is like full like this. Could name it like something. Could name it like I'm just gonna name it that. No, it doesn't have a name. What? And as I actually will do an outro soon, which is going to start now. So, And that's it for today. See you next time.